Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and today we are finishing up this 1966 Cadillac DeVille. In previous videos, you saw us pull out all the old wiring and amp rack. Uh, we went ahead and ran new wiring to all our new speakers, new wiring to the amplifiers. Uh, we did a big three upgrade. We upgraded our grounds. Uh, we did a ton in the last two episodes. If you haven't seen those yet, be sure to click the links in the description to catch up. Now in this video, what we're gonna be doing is finishing up the interior here. We have our new radio to install, as well as new front speakers. We're gonna do six and a half mids, or six and three quarter inch uh, mids there on the kicks, as well as tweeters up in the dash. We get to hook up our rear speakers and uh, get everything tuned once that radio is in and playing. Now, the first thing that we need to do is begin mocking up our kick panel mids here. So we're gonna head over to the bench and start fitting up our new speakers. All right, so we're here at the bench. Now, this is the driver's side kick pod. The passenger side is in the car just being test fitted, but we're using some punch um, six and three quarter inch speakers here. We have our mid-range right here with the with the grill that we're going to be using and that will go right there in that location it's going to look great we're really excited to see how this all truly turns out um, but this magnet hole is teeny because before we had a five and a quarter inch and we're upgrading to six and three quarter inch by the way if you want to see these speakers we did an unboxing of these we went over these much more in depth so check that out um, it's a pretty cool video but um, Here's our template. This is our hole cutout that we need to basically lay on this. Now, if we rotate this, this is essentially how it's gonna sit in the car, where this is the bottom, this is the top, and ideally, just the way that this sits in the car, we try to, we'll try to have the speaker as far back as we can, so as we cut the hole, we may be more generous to the back side. Now, we also have to be conscientious of the uh, parking brake or emergency brake here as well. Make sure everything's gonna clear. Um, so we'll probably head over to the car to kind of get this test fitted with the speaker and our template before we determine exactly where we're gonna cut. We got those mounted. Now we still need to screw them in and everything like that, but for now they're just sitting in place. Got the other side as well. The bottom is still sticking out, but we'll get it in all the way. Get those wired up. Now we need to work on the dash pad for our tweeters. Okay, so at this point, we got our tweeter mounted. Same thing with the other side. We're essentially here, we use some back strapping um, and sandwiched the tweeter between the grill. We mounted it on these studs. And this end will go through an extension all the way down to the mid range. Cause if you remember um, the speakers that we went with actually has the crossovers built into the magnet of the mid range. So um, what we're gonna do is run a line from the dash pad area down to the kick and the uh, line from the amplifier will go into the mid, through the mid, then into the tweeter as designed by Rockford. So really the dash pad is done. What we're gonna do now is head back to the car and start getting everything installed. Now the radio that we've decided to go with for the Cadillac is this Sony XAV um, V10BT. 
Um, what's cool about this radio, it's going to fit in the dash because we just have a space for a single DIN, so we're gonna use this radio in that space, but it does have a double DIN screen, which is super nice. Um, if you wanna see this radio unboxing, we'll have a link in the description and we'll throw a card up above just so you can check this out a little bit more. Um, but uh, yeah, so essentially here, all the wires that we need to hook up for Cadillac today is we got our constant power, we have our accessory or ignition turn on. We're gonna do a ground, which is our black wire here. And we're also going to do um, a parking brake. Finally, we have this blue white wire, which is our remote turn on. This is gonna trigger the amps that we've put in the trunk to turn on when the radio is on. Uh, we don't have an illumination, we're not gonna hook it up. Neither are we gonna do any of the speaker wires just because we're not relying on the internal amplifier within the radio itself, and instead we're running our own. So that's all we need to hook up. So really, let's head over to the car and start test fitting the radio. So we got our RCAs ready to go since our Sony only takes a single RCA output for subwoofer. We had a little splitter there. Got everything soldered up, new grounds, um, nice and clean. And then I got the whole harness loom. So we got rid of all the wire nets. So that's ready to go. Um, this is just, uh, we have to work with the, what we got. So we got this dash opening here. Um, we have a can that we've modified to fit there and uh, we're painting it at the moment black so any part of the can that doesn't totally fit flush um, won't stick out like a sore thumb just because this uh, this bezel is a bit curved up so it makes it really tough to have a nice flat finish so we're, do we're gonna do our best here so um, basically the wiring is done all we had to hook up is power ground accessory and remote turn on wire everything else is just not existent in a 66 cadillac so we'll keep the dash um pad off just so if we put a piece of back strapping there just to really secure the radio we have space for it plus we have two screws that we're going to put into the into the side of the can once the radio is installed even for further security and keep it nice and firm within the dash so that's our plan at the moment next thing here is we got our ends on our speaker wire so that will plug in and then our tweeter goes from the tweeter output of their mid-range go up through the dash to the tweeter that we have mounted that we showed you previously so next thing we're going to do is get our kick pods just kind of in place on both sides here left and right and then we're going to get our rear speakers hooked up as well speakers all done all crimped on those are little uh, punch four by sixes it's the same series as the new kicks we're putting in up front as well as the tweeters which is great everything matches now it's so really at this point we can get the seat all back in So we went ahead and uh, just did a quick little boot. Everything boots up great. We're gonna go ahead and get the dash pad on so we can route our wires down to the tweeters. All right, so at this point, we went ahead and got the dash pad all in. Uh, got our tweeters hooked up to our mids down below. Turned out great. You can actually see the logo through the grill just a little bit. Did a little vacuum, got everything booted up for the first time. Radio boots up great. Actually, it turned out nice and clean. Got the back speakers all in, back is all done. Here's our amp rack.
Got her all sevens all hooked up. So we can push the box back now. Yeah, this side all done. So at this point, let's uh, play something so we can hear what it sounds like. SMD DD1 um, just so everything is all set and ready to go to blast down the highway. Uh, we set our crossovers and uh, did a little adjustment through our head unit. So at this point we are done and good to go. If you have any questions on what we did uh, go ahead and post a comment below. Um, if you had a classic car what did you have and did you have a system in it? If you want to see part one and part two check the description. We'll have links to those videos there and uh, you can watch the whole series. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. And if uh, you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. We post great content all the time. We will see you in the next video.